Question 22. So to work out the area, uh, the volume just here, it's going to be big cone, take away small cone. So let's work out the volume of the big cone first of all. So what we're going to do, just substitute in our dimensions there. So big cone is one third pi and then R is 6, so that would be 6 squared, and then multiplied by the height, which is 15. So if we work that out, that's 180 pi. Right, what about the small cone? Now if I think about scale factor, the small cone is, is one third of the length. But remember scale factor, you need to think about, is for volume. So the scale factor of, of length is a third. So therefore to get for volume, it's that cubed. So it will actually be 1 27th for volume. Area is 1 over 9, by the way, right? That would be 3 squared. So that's going to be take away 180 pi over 27. So if you work that out, just you know, pop that into your calculator, and that will give you 520 pi over 3. I haven't done anything there, I've just popped that into my calculator. Now let's think about, so this is the volume. Right, this is the volume, and that's centimetres cubed. Now I need to make sense of this statement just over here. The glass has a density of 2.5 grams every centimetre cube. So each centimetre cube weighs 2.5 grams. So in other words, we're just going to multiply that by 2.5. And if we multiply that by 2.5, it gives us 1,400 and it's grams. Now I've rounded this, so on your calculator, if you were to put in exactly, rounding it to something else, you might have put 1360, 1361, okay? You'll be given a bit of leeway. It says appropriate degree, I think, that's sensible, but obviously that would be acceptable as well.